the first and foremost thing that we identified in working with United Front Games, um, as they were starting to form as a company, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy to say that you know I was one of the fr uh, I picked up the first phone call that they made uh, and talked to them as a fledgling company and and expressed to them my personal desire to build a kart racing game and it clicked instantly with them because and resonated with them because it was something that they were very much interested in. Uh, one of my first trips up to Vancouver I was sitting around a folding table in some borrowed office space talking about how would we differentiate ourselves and one of the first things that we tackled was art aesthetic and they brought in a bunch of urban vinyl art. It was a conscious choice that we made because we felt like it was something that was starting to break into the mainstream. We had begun seeing companies like Hasbro, Disney, starting to dabble in that space and giving people the ability to kind of customize and create their own art pieces that they could then share, display, and it started to feed really nicely into the Play, Create, Share message and it gave us I think a really clear anchor from an art perspective of not just what the characters would look like, but also what the world as a whole around it would look like. One of the things that we've never lost sight of from the very beginning is that what this product means to be is a fun kart racing action game. That where kart racing titles live and die is on the couches in living rooms. Now the evolution of the genre is where the Play Create Share comes into play. Play Create Share was a space that just intrigued us from just a design and development perspective. The idea of being able to maybe bring that to the, the, the kart racing genre the way Media Molecule did to the action platformer was really exciting for us. So I can't thank Alex Evans and the folks at Media Molecule enough. It's one of the first things that we did is we sat down with them and spent a considerable amount of time talking to them about their experience and the learnings that they were able to share with us in that space. One of the, the approaches that, uh, that we took here in San Diego Studio was the desire to establish an IP, and uh, not just a single one-off experience on the PlayStation 3. So when I looked at the internal development team that was available here in San Diego Studio, it became very obvious very quickly that it was a great fit for us to be able to take that on and, and put out what I'm confident is going to be a triple A product for the PlayStation Portable. The experience that everyone saw at the introduction of Mod Nation Racers uh, at E3 last year is uh, an experience that everyone will be able to have on the PSP. That within three minutes you can create a track that's ready to race. And then above and beyond that is the ability for great multiplayer combat racing in the form of six player ad hoc or six player online. Something that I think is going to give this game great legs when you think about it on all of the